Okay, imagine I am your best friend and I just gifted you the Indus Valley Civilization seal or something, let's say, from your culture, about 5,000 years old. Yeah, 5,000. And now I ask you, hey man, break it, destroy it, yeah, would you? Most people say no. They're basically saying, no, I'm not going to break this. Then I ask them, why? They'll be like, no, it has value. I said, okay, how much? 100 bucks. They're like, no. I'm like, 1,000, 10,000, a lakh, a crore. Come on, what's the price that you'd put for something that small and something that doesn't even actually mean or doesn't even say anything to you? You don't even know what it stands for. You don't even know what it means. You don't have any context. You don't understand why it was made. Hell, you can't even read what's written on it. And you still won't break it. You still won't sell it. You still won't part with it. I don't understand this. And so most people subconsciously understand the value of art. But in a way cannot uh, articulate what the kind of, what is the attachment they have with it. They don't understand why they will hold on to it. Why would the human species retain artifacts from its own past and then suddenly when you ask people do you care about the past they say hmm maybe I do but not actively and that's okay that seal belongs to you it belongs to your greatest grandparent and it's the story of where you came from it basically takes you home what is art You've heard that before, I'm sure. I'm no doubt somebody in your life has once asked you this iconic question. The way to answer that question is to break it down one artwork at a time. I started Art History Plus not so long ago. It's just been seven months. You see, an artwork is oozing information in every direction. It's waiting to be understood. It's, in a way, it's alive. But it's alive only because you are alive, because you are human. A very simple and small artwork can be explained and needs to be explained to you so that you understand it. Take one artwork at a time. That was my idea when I started Art History Plus. A company that started with a very, very fundamental question. How many people actually get it? Everybody's looking at artworks, everybody's seeing, but nobody seems to get it. People walk out more confused than when they walked in. There's something about art that makes you want to protect it, preserve it, and keep it for as long as possible. But why? And why do you need to know what art is all about? Subconsciously, it says that this belongs to me, my culture, and my people. Even though you didn't make it, every time you go to an art gallery to experience and observe and actually interact with art, you'll kind of realize that the artist is telling you your own story. The price of the work is just one aspect of it. In fact, it's a very shallow way of understanding what an artwork actually represents or stands for. You see, for something to last and for something to have value, it needs to have connect. Hi, my name is Vaibhav. I'm an artist and along the way I had no clue that I would need to learn about 10 different things apart from painting and apart from art to start a YouTube channel. You have a very complicated and a very dense work of art, contemporary, modern or could be classic. But people don't understand art. People see art but they don't get it. And in this very small problem I saw a major opportunity. You see, an artwork is something that you don't just observe. It's layered, it has meaning, it has context, there's politics. You have a lot of emotion. Not every artwork is to be understood. Some are to be felt. And it's these ideas that are not explained. Which artwork needs to be viewed with what lens? It's just not explained. Being an artist, a filmmaker and an interviewer made it easy for me to kind of engage with artists directly one-on-one. -on -one. And 
in a way bring out their stories and i didn't think it's going to explode yeah true story so i'm sitting in my garage studio where basically i started painting and i've been painting for the last 15 years now suddenly we all have this pandemic and i can't buy material and my wife tells me hey why don't you explain your artworks to me hell why don't you explain other people's artworks to me so that you know let's get a software update for ourselves i sat down with her and then she's like you do a pretty good job at this i'm getting it now she actually started understanding complex works of art made by my friends and in a way i'm here to tell you why starting small and growing organically is the right way to go it's just been about 7 months and i think there's a lesson to be learned here of how to start small but think big because in a way i myself am not somebody who you would say is a trained musician or um, a film editor or uh, you know a, a podcaster or a youtuber in fact i did my bachelor's in painting and i did my masters in painting and my entire education my entire life has been in the fine arts and i never thought that i am going to head something or found a company or an organization and do all of this to you know kind of and i i never knew that i would be put in a situation that i need to handle and do so much it's been an absolutely it's it's been an absolutely overwhelming experience and i feel that the journey has been the journey just in the last 6 months has been so rewarding i have limited experience of how to run a company but we're doing this and it's working and we're growing the context and the reason why it started comes from a very real place and that's important and it's important for anybody who wants to start something to know that you need nothing other than that idea you need nothing other than a few people who actually believe in your idea you don't need to convince a hundred people you don't need to convince two people you need to convince only one person you know who that is let let's talk about language for a minute so let's say i say something but you don't understand it because you don't speak my language that obviously doesn't mean that i didn't say anything it means you didn't understand it and there's a reason for that the reason is well you don't know my language well in the fine arts in painting and in art every artist creates something original a new voice a new language hell maybe new grammar and in a way this information needs to be decoded needs to be deciphered and it's not up to the artist to always explain the work in another language they've done their job they've painted what they had to you need translators you need someone who actually really understands the ideas behind what they're trying to do i didn't have the skill sets to do what i needed and i didn't have the money to pay the people that i wanted to get the things done that i needed so i had to learn i learned everything on youtube and that journey has taken me on a learning curve which i did not expect even i had the capacity for i learned audio engineering podcasting how to play the piano how to edit a film how to write how to do data management social media something completely out of my comfort zone somewhere i feel that i solved a problem And to make you understand very complex ideas very simply i was born in 1983 i've grown up on television i've seen the rise of broadcast stations i have witnessed channels like national geographic the cartoon network even ftv grow based on very simple and niche ideas you have a sector that is waiting to explode art history plus is right now partnering with museums private institutions 
artist directly art galleries we don't sell art yet i thought it's best if we do the groundwork nobody is interested in producing the abc's for the indian art sector everybody wants to have complex conversations everybody wants to have nuanced readings where do the general population where does the average individual who doesn't have access to art go i think people are hungry hungry to relate and once you give them that fodder they kind of have a software update and everybody thinks that art is high class till they see it on a coffee mug or a bed sheet i have another question do you really want to know what art is i think i think rather than asking what is art let's start small let's ask what is this artwork all about it's sad but art is in a way inaccessible to people and i'm not asking people to buy it or hang it on your walls but just get it just understand what it means once we plant the idea of what the artwork represents it'll take its own life inside your mind and that's the beauty of artworks